That's what happens in the wind. It has led to many comedic scenes over the centuries and years. No. Penny? No? Penny, mind your business. Yeah, I'm a little worried because I read that, you know, the, the seeds and grapes contain a, a chemical that's toxic to dogs. That's true, I've read it too. But I don't know how much you have to ingest for that. But anything that pops out, she's been eating, so. Yeah. Well, you know, most of these things that I've read about, like, toxicity to dogs have to do with uh, long-term exposure. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not going to kill your dog if they eat some grapes or an onion, but if you feed it to them every day, yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, their kidneys eventually shut down. Exactly. I so don't worry about it. The same way with this but a couple grapes twice a year shouldn't be so bad. Oh, yeah, we're making wine. It's about to go down here. Are you going to help Daddy? No. <laughs> yeah, it's yucky. Daddy's only doing it because he <clears throat> wants to get drunk. It's a lot of work to do. Penny, get the hell out of my face. Penny, come on, move. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to make a hybrid again? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll it's probably yucky. be brewing the beer uh, next week. Mm -hmm. and then... What beer are you going to mix it with? Uh, the Hefebein. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, same as last year, right? Yeah. Piemonte Hefe, my favorite. What did we call it? Oh, uh... It's gross. Let's see, it was Piedi Rosso and... Uh, Piedi Rosso Hefebein. And I think I wanted to call it Strawberry Blonde something or other. Yeah. But... But I forgot. Yeah, we came up with something cool. I don't remember it. Yeah, it was an excellent name. So good. That <laughs> Neither of us remember. Johnny, what happened to your umbrella? The a bird. Huh? The a, a bird. A bird? What happened? Where's your umbrella, Johnny? Hmm? Oh, it's a it's too small? Yeah. Oh, okay. For a stud like him, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Lots of... Too yucky. No, that's yummy, Johnny. That's yummy. So it's yucky. It is? Mm. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Be, be, be careful. <laughs> Echo. Thank you. Good. Is that the garbage one? The orange one? Yeah, yeah, that's because I have a lot of leaves mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. I learned from last year when I ended up, you know, the kitchen was a little sticky and mm -hmm. things like that. So I'm doing this step first and then I'm going to take them in and awesome. I guess wash them right quick and then crush them. And Do you rinse off the grapes just because, like, of city dirt and stuff? Or? Well, it's also because the shitty ones sink to the bottom. Ah. Well, what happens if you or make they wine? Float, they float. Oh, okay. So, I mean, if you make wine out of, like, rotten grapes, what happens? I don't know. I mean, yes, the other day when we were at La Vina for the grape stump, they were... Uh, they were taking them out? No, everything was going in, and uh, right, they didn't that's... seem to mind at all. I know it's a problem for olives and olive oil, but I thought for grapes it was like, hey, the fermenting is halfway done. Daddy, it, it could be. Great. Like, it might have started fermenting. That's great. Yeah, the only concern I would have is that it's fermenting with, great. you know, uh, with uh, yeast that's not mm -hmm. what you want. Yeah. Wild yeast could cause some sourness. Good point. Oh, or it could be amazing. Daddy. Yeah. Could be like a sourdough bread. A Frisco oh, sourdough. It could be like the the beers that are open fermentation. Which ones? Um for instance never the uh, one the sour ones that we like. Uh, oh, see? Which yeah, I don't think that would be good in wine though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey, 
careful with Penny, honey. Be careful. Yeah, she doesn't like getting umbrella in the face. You know how I know? Because nobody does. <laughs> Are you helping Daddy? Okay, good. Hands out then. All right, see, he is wearing the correct boots for the work, though. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got up on the ladder and I was uh, pitching those ones that were growing on the side there, too. Mm -hmm. And I did a little bit of pruning. Them there. Do they always uh, prune after harvest? Is that how it's done? Well, I think they actually do it like sometime later when they have more time. Oh, I see. So I'll probably go back to it. Okay. Uh, do some more uh, cutting back. Because you only get uh, grapes on the new growth. Oh, that's right. You told me. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why they... Uh, that's why they prune so much. the nice uh, vineyards are always like just penny. They're yeah. just a stump. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize. I thought, like, God, that's so ugly. Why do they do that? Well, Good to know. It, it really is the way to go. And I do it if, if that meant that, unfortunately, we wouldn't be getting our grapes up there then. And they'd be uh, all down in the neighbor's yard. I'm not really sure about ownership of the vine. I don't know. No one seems to protest when we take all their I know, but I do hide when I see cars coming. <laughs> Johnny was asking you what you're doing. Oh. Uh, getting grapes. And turning, and we're going to make wine. Daddy's taking the grapes off of the stem and the putting just the stem in the bucket. Yeah, because the stem the makes the uh, wine bitter. Don't eat that penny. It's gross. <laughs>